The risks involved in Monsanto GMA's MON 863, which has been authorized for animal feeding and humans in the European Union, have been discussed for years. Today, we present the facts. Independent scientists of the French University of Caen have counter-evaluated the more than 1,000-page subchronic MON 863 rat feeding study. The feeding test has been made public after Greenpeace went to court in 2005. As research director Professor Gilles Eric Serralini and Dr. Christophe Tin, Greenpeace genetic engineering expert, will explain, the GM maize made the test rats ill. For the first time ever, we are able to prove that a genetically modified plant constitutes a health risk. Whether MON 863 should be authorized furthermore must be rediscussed now in the light of these results. Professor Gilles Eric Serralini of the French research group Crigen said in Berlin that the GM maize cannot be considered safe. The studies made for market authorization so far are not sufficient. So it's a new era that we try to open today uh, with Cregen, uh, which is uh, an era of counter-evaluation of all the data that have been uh, put together on GMO health. So the females, the female rats that have eaten this GMO uh, show sign of toxicity in the liver and in the kidney and the males too. The female have an increase in weight, an increase also in their liver in comparison to the body weight, an increase in fat in uh, the blood, an increase in sugar, and uh, urine ions that are uh, problematic. And for the males, there are more problems at uh, the level of the kidneys, and they lose weight, and uh, they have so-called nephropathy with uh, urine ions that are disrupted and also uh, problems uh, in the kidney function. So uh, in total we can say that uh, liver and kidney are rich like if there was an intoxication but we cannot say that uh, because uh, the um, tests have to be prolongated and uh, to be renewed in order to be absolutely sure uh, the problems are now with the tests that have been used uh, to authorize this maize within the world. So they are not, it is not scientifically serious anymore to say that the GMOs are safe. Given the results of the counter-evaluation studies, Greenpeace is convinced that GM maize establishes a potential health risk. Greenpeace is convinced that GM maize should be taken from the market. We have uh, shown that the current risk assessment, safety checks for genetically engineered plants are not sufficient. So it's now up to the politicians to take um, the consequences and to withdraw market authorizations to have a stop for new authorizations and to stop cultivation of GMOs because they all more or less have been uh, uh, subjected to the same kind of safety checks and these cannot be uh, seen as, as, as sufficient. So all these products have to be seen as being not safe. The results published today must finally trigger a serious debate about the risks of GMOs.